Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike. My name is Mike. Pin. Friday. I feel like I'm giving mixed messages with the outfit today. I look a little bit trucker, a little bit Nicki Minaj stan. We are trying something new today. So if you like this video, make sure you leave a like. And by the way, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get 500K. Can you imagine the collapse? In case you didn't know, today is the 3,297th day anniversary of the release of the first Hunger Games movie. And to celebrate that milestone, I decided to watch it. And then I thought, wait a minute, hold on. I could do a little bit of like a plot recap situation. Not a new concept, but a new concept for me and I would like to do Twilight and all the young adult films. That sounds weird. Young adult book adaptation films. So the film starts with Blue Lawrence Cheney and facial hair Zaddy having a conversation on the main stage about the significance of the games and how it unifies all the districts. I don't know about you, but making 12 to 18 year olds K word each other does not necessarily scream unity. Now this little talk show moment is giving Jimmy Fallon, it's giving James Corden. I'm willing to bet that the blue man's name is in fact James. Why are they all named James? Disney is somehow involved, Disney and Facebook are to blame. Next we meet Katniss and isn't she just the definition of girl boss? She's not like other girls. She sings, she threatens the cat, she climbs through the barbed wire fence. She's a barb, she does it all. So Bestie sneaks through the fence, goes to the forest, grabs her bow, and she said, you know what? Let me Fortnite chapter two, season six archery real quick. She's quick and she's quiet. She's doing the damn thing. And then guess what? A man appears and ruins everything. Enter stage left, Gail. This acting at the start of the movie, it gave me chills in a bad way. So Gail and Katniss are 30 and flirty K-wording birds in the forest. Then a ship that looks like the one that Mr. Girlboss himself owns, Kylo Ren from the franchise Star War, that flies over and Katniss and Gail are scared, shook, panicking. The mumbling and cackling coming from our next character, Miss Effie. Katana and Wind are having a little d &M on the hillside talking about maybe they should just run away and forget all their responsibilities. And imagine if they did and the movie ended. Gail gives Katniss a piece of bread and she loses her mind and goes on X Games mode of being obsessed with him. So maybe the secret to asking someone out is just to give them a piece of bread. Unfortunately, I don't really like bread, so I guess I will be single forever. Katniss goes to the market and buys some buttons and gets a free badge. I don't know what kind of deals they're running in the District 12 market, but this badge is a Mockingjay badge. Ooh. Next scene. All the kitties are running off to the ceremony. Katniss is wearing Oscar de la Renta 2005. Katniss's sister, Primrose Everdeen, is on my nerves. She hasn't necessarily done anything but any being under the age of 15 years old just gives me a base level frustration. So we're now at the ceremony, it's all very dramatic. Miss Effie Girlboss gets up to the mic and starts rapping High School from Nicki Minaj's third studio album, Pink Friday, Roman Reloaded the Re-Up. Category is purple and butterflies and she's serving, there's no point in lying. She's kind of giving me Instagram girl boss. She's kind of sliding into my DMs and saying, hey boss babe. They then play a little video reminding the girls not to rebel against the capital. Miss Bestie Effie picks the female tribute and guess who it is? It's Primrose Everdeen. She's won a lifetime supply of Anastasia Beverly Hills and a cash prize of $100,000. Katniss says, not on my watch and volunteers. She wants the clout. Next up, the hit single Boys by Charlie XCX. For the male tribute, we have Peter, Mr. Breadman himself. Katniss and Peter say bye bye to the girls and get on the train. We are now in our Snowpiercer era. We're in our Murder on the Orient Express era. So far, the train is probably my favorite character. She's giving everything that we needed. Category is opulence, eleganza, extravaganza. On said train, Katniss sees a chandelier for the first time and has a panic attack. Oh my God, what is that? Effie is maximizing her girl boss slay in the purple moment, Peter is annoying me, but so is Katniss. So what now? Enter our next character, Hey Mitch. Owen Wilson, but not Owen Wilson. He loves a drink and I'm not talking dihydrogen monoxide. He's won the games before and he's there to give the girls advice, but he's capital M messed up and he kind of just says, fight your own battles, I'm not doing it for you. That is mahogany. That is mahogany. That is mahogany. Mr. Hey Mitch, first name Hey, last name Mitch. His main piece of advice is to be likable so that sponsors send you tips. The Twitch streamer of it all. The train arrives at the capital. Katniss and Peter are absolutely losing their minds. At the fashion, it's giving Coachella 2145. Now we need to talk about Seneca Crane's facial hair. I'm going to put you all into breakout rooms and I want you to decide as a group if it's a yes or no. Katniss is now getting Getting a makeover. From who? Our next character, Sinner. He is the CEO of Statement Outfits. All the tributes enter the arena on chariots. All the hospitals in the capital are full from everyone collapsing when they saw Katniss and Peter arrive 
on their chariot wearing skin tight black leather and the chariot's on fire. Also, they themselves are on fire. Enter our next new character, President Snow. Crusty, 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 crusty man. He says some shit, I don't know, I think he says, may the odds be ever in your flavor or whatever. Backstage in Untucked after the ceremony, District 1 and District 2 tributes are staring absolute daggers at Katniss and Peter. And for what? You're all gonna die anyway. Our heroes go to their little hotel room for the night. Katniss has a fun window where she can change what she's seeing out the window to be the forest or the beach or whatever the fuck. The green screen of it all. She's continuing her Twitch journey. We are now in the training room. Enter fave number one. She's doing her damn thing on this machine. I don't know what the fuck she's doing, but girl, I am living. I actually made a TikTok a while ago just talking about how I don't understand what she's doing in this situation, and the actress replied. So do what you will with that information. Also, side note, I know that this is horrible when everyone's K-wording each other and they're all about to D-word and M-word, but you know what? The food looks really good, so maybe they should just stop complaining. Anyway, Katniss has a flashback to Mr. Breadman himself, Peter, throwing bread at her face. And it's quite interesting to me how both of her love interests have both given her bread. Is the bar that low? Whoa, 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 did he just throw that steel ball? Next thing you know, Peter is decorating his arm to look like a tree. What? how? What, how long does that take? It's giving cake boss. Next scene, they're getting their ratings. Basically, the higher the rating, the more chance of getting good sponsors much like being a YouTuber. Katniss is doing her thing. She's like, bleh, and then no one's really paying attention. The judges aren't turning the chairs. She's getting no buzzes. Then she turns around and shoots an arrow through the apple of the roast pig that they're eating. And let me tell you, the amount of chairs that turned, she got a golden buzzer. She went through to the next round. She won $5,000. So remember the ratings are from one to 12 and based on her performance, Katniss gets an 11. Some blah, 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 filler situations happen. And now it's time to get interviewed by James before going to the arena. Can we just get to the arena? I just want to see some drama. Thank you. It's Peter's turn to get interviewed and he's just like pissing me off, isn't he? Ugh. James is all, hey bestie, do you have a girlfriend? And Peter's like, yeah, I actually have a crush on someone. And then James is like, okay, T, just win. And then you can and like ask her out when you get back to your district. She has to fall for you then because you're a winner, baby. And then Peter's all like, well, T, actually, she's going to the arena with me. Ooh, shut up. Whoa, it's game day. Finally, the kids are about to K-word each other. There's a tube and Katniss has to get in the tube and they shoot it up into the arena into outer space. Five Gs of force, that is five girl bosses of force. She arises from the tube into the arena. And this is probably one of my favorite scenes of the movie. She's like, whoa. What the fuck is going on in here on this day? And the way they shot it is like very like confusing and everything. And she sees the cornucopia. Bitch, what the fuck is a cornucopia? Just call it the center of the arena. Anyway, she sees that and there's a bow and arrow. She wants it so bad, but she can't have it. Much like people who are lactose intolerant wanting ice cream. And it's just absolute fucking scenes. Everyone's just starts sprinting in every possible direction. People are K-wording each other left, right, and center. Katniss has run into the woods and she's like falling and mumbling and tumbling and shit. And the cannon goes off 12 times, which means 12 of the 24 tributes have died, which means there are 12 girls still in running to be America's next top model. Katniss is now in her tree climbing era. This follows on from her Nicki Minaj Queen Deluxe album track eight, Run and Hide era. Important note, Katniss is still serving hair and face at this point. I think she's got some kind of extreme coverage foundation on. Up in her new treehouse hideout, Katniss sees a group walk past and it's the evil alliance of District 1 and District 2. And guess who? Peter Wick. He's apparently leading them to her, but they walk past. So maybe he's not, I don't know. Katniss is walking around finding a new tree to bullet journal in and the game makers are like, oh shit, she's actually kind of getting close to the edge of the arena. So then they start a bushfire for fun to try and get her back to the center and they throw fireballs at her, which is so extra and unnecessary. And one of them kind of hits her low key and she gets like really bad burns and she's Nessa Barrett, she's in pain. Now in her burnt era, Katniss decides to run to the water cause she needs like a little bit of like, oof, you know, like, oof, eh you know and guess who sees her the evil alliance so they chase her she runs up a tree like a fucking squirrel and they can't climb for shit so they're like okay we'll wait down here because she's gonna starve she ain't got no food up there and she's on fire basically this girl is on fire alicia keys feet Nicki minaj maybe so katniss is all woe is me i'm just gonna d word up here and she gets a gift from her sponsor skillshare and it's like this special fugly ointment that she puts on her wound and it just heals it. Enter the best character in the franchise, Rue. Rue is somehow also in a tree adjacent to Katniss, how she got there, I don't know. Rue was done so dirty. 
Miss Suzanne Collins. I will fight you, 1v1 MMA style, but we'll get to that. Brew tells Katniss that there's like this tracker jacker nest near her. Tracker jackers are like killer wasps kinda. So Katniss is like cutting it. And like maybe the girl bosses downstairs would have been fine if they stand Luna, but they didn't, so they weren't. While cutting Katniss gets bitten by the tracker jackers and she's like, whoa, this kind of sucks. And it does suck, you know, but then she cuts the thing it falls down, she falls down, she's running around like crazy. And then one of the flops downstairs gets bitten a lot and she just straight up dies. Katniss is running around and she's like absolutely tripping balls. Balls! And she passes out. Is this the end of the story for Katniss? No, there are four movies. Guess who saved her crusty self? Rue. Rue consistently just doing charity for Katniss. Rue's the main character. I don't know what shit you're all watching. So basically now Katniss and Rue are straight up BFFs. They're best friends. They're Doja and Saweetie releasing best friends beat beat Bessie and the Tessie. I hate this fucking movie. Why would you do this to me? Why would you introduce this secondary character that you know I'm going to absolutely love and then like K word her 10 minutes later? And for what? It's sick and twisted. Suzanne, it's on site. So yeah, some other shit happens. I think Katniss blows up some food. It's kind of iconic or whatever. But the main takeaway is that Rue dies and I'm absolutely pissed about it. Yada, yada, yada. Katniss is spiraling. What's new? Also, there's civil unrest in District 11. So then the game makers are like, mm, maybe we'll change the rules so you can have two winners if they're from the same district, which is so convenient for our star-crossed lovers from District 12, the collapse. Something shifted when they said that. Everybody moved. So Katniss is like, damn, I need to find Peter because we can both win. So she's like hunting for the bestie and she finds him and he's disguised as a fucking rock. What and how? First of all, where did you find the shit that you need to do that? And second of all, how did you find the time? Katniss smooches Peter to get another Skillshare sponsorship and it works. Now back home, remember they're streaming this shit live, like Big Brother style, and Gail's watching and he's pissed that Katniss is hooking up with the bread man. And honestly, he can shut up about it. Your name is Gail, worry about that. Does Peter look like Charlie Puth? Discuss in the comments with 25 words or less. Katniss and Peter are looking for other tributes to maximize their sleigh. And it turns out Foxface ate poison berries and died. And I genuinely hate that for her. She just literally minded her business and didn't hurt anyone. What did she get? At this point, the game masters decide to up the ante and release some like CGI feral fucking tiger beast thing. Release the beast, bimini! So the beast is kind of like very ugly. I think it just needs to exfoliate and then use SPF. Now they're just all fighting. It's Katniss and Peter versus, what's his name? Kato, I think. So blah, 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 Katniss and Peter kill Kato. And then they're like, yes, we won. No, bitch, you didn't. They changed the rules again. They're like, ha, 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 we lied. We can't have two winners. There can only be one winner. So they're all like, absolutely not. And they threaten to KMS with the poison berries, like nom, 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 eat it up. And they start like eating it. And then the game masters are like, oh my God, you fucking idiots. Fine, you can both win. So basically, they Nicki Minaj pink print bonus track win again. Blah, 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 crowning, blah, 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 uprising, the end. So that is The Hunger Games. Was this video just a way for me to work out how I can claim paying for streaming services as a tax deduction? But this was fun though. I generally enjoyed making this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know if you would like me to do another Hunger Games movie or do Twilight. I really wanna do Twilight, so please say Twilight. Thanks for watching or whatever. Bye. Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel.